and this is right where they wanted this thing. You see it on show track there? They wanted to take him up around the letters, hoping for the pop-up, and that's exactly what they got. Brandon Geyer stands in as he looks at ball one here. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Fouled back. One, two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Two out, nobody on. Again, a one-two. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Down in order go the Rays, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Jake McGee is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the eighth spot. Number 57, Jake McGee. Now playing left field and batting in the ninth spot. Number seven. Jorge Soler will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. Leading up the bottom of the ninth inning for the Cubs. Right fielder, Jorge Soler. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Here's the 1 0. That's inside. 2 and 0. And down by a run, a leadoff walk would certainly help the cause. He's got to shrink that strike zone here and not chase anything that he shouldn't be swinging at. Here comes the 2 0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Here he comes on two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Down by a run. Your guys need you on base any way you can get there. Now you got to shrink that strike zone down and not go after anything that's not right there for you. Now the three one home. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. Well, I think I'm about ready to declare his cold streak over. He's broken out of it in a big way here. His third hit of the ball game, and he looks as good as gold to my eyes. Now the first pitch. Runner goes. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. And the throw is late at first, so they can't get anybody out. Well, if the rally wasn't on already, it's officially on now. This is just a dream start to the inning here. They get the tying run to second. He's the most important guy, but don't forget, you get the potential winning run on at first base. So this game is really up in the air now. David Ross. We'll try to keep this rally going with the possible winning run aboard on first now with nobody out. First offering on the way. And a bunt attempt here, but this will be foul, so the runners will stay put for now. From the stretch. Misses the bunt attempt, and we'll see what's up now on Owen 2. And those are two very important base runners out there. You've got to be able to get the bunt down here. Comes set. Now the pitch. And a bunt attempt here with two strikes that'll get fouled, so he'll become out number one. Oh, a big strike out there. One down, two more to go. He's going to need to call on all of his skills to strand that time run at third. Addison Russell step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Here's the first offering. In there, 0 and 1. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. Come set, now the pitch. In the air to center. Jennings will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. 
You know, that's the thing with throwing a fastball as hard as he does. It makes fly balls travel that much farther off the bat. This thing gets out there a long ways before it finally gets tracked down. Now the first pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he'll make the catch to end it. And the Rays have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, and that's a good job to come right out here and set the tempo for this series as they finish off a good road victory here in game one. A tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. And I think, all things considered, this was really a team victory. But out of everybody, I agree, he made the biggest impact out there. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Rays are victorious in this one, 4-3. to three. Good night from Chicago. They left four men on base. For the Cubs, three runs on ten hits. Two errors, they left eight men on base. The winning pitcher is Jake Odorizzi. His record is now 4-2. Credit the save to Jake McGee, his 14. The loss goes to John Lester. He falls to five and four. Time of the ball game, three hours and eight minutes. A reminder that extra southbound CTA red line trains will be available at the Addison Street Station, one block east of Ripley Field. Northbound passengers are asked to board at the Sheridan Station. Post-game bus service will also be available on the 8 Halstead, 22 Clark, 152 Addison, and the 154...